insurance premiums are strangling the pocketbooks of many Americans. Do you know you may be paying too much for health insurance? Well, asking the right questions and spending a little time researching your options could save you tons of money. Today on SpreadTheWord.tv, we are interviewing Paul Sholek. He's a health insurance expert and professional agent. He's going to give us some tips and strategies on how to save money when purchasing health insurance and how to avoid being ripped off. Hello, Paul. Hi, Rhonda. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you so much for meeting with My me. My pleasure. So, Paul, can you tell us how can a person be ripped off when purchasing health insurance? Well, they don't understand what they buy. And it's very important for the agent to explain exactly what they're buying so they know what's covered and what's not. And a lot of people get surprised. They also buy from carriers which are not really what are called A-rated carriers, mm -hmm. the best carriers. They should be buying from a carrier they've heard of. They should check the carrier out. Examples of good carriers, for example, are Vista, United Healthcare, Golden Rule, Humana, Aetna, uh, and others like that. So I understand that you had a client whose company wasn't paying his claims? Well, sometimes there are companies that do what's called mm -hmm. claims underwriting. Mm -hmm. And what that means is they don't, up front when they approve the policy, uh, do a lot of checking. Mm -hmm. Then the person puts a claim in, they, the company then asks the questions that should have been asked before they approve the policy, and the person uh, is surprised. It happens start. more often than you would think. Oh, wow. So how is it that people end up paying too much for their health insurance? Well, they don't understand what they buy often. They're often buying on the features that they don't really need mm -hmm. or they don't do an economic analysis to see are those features worth it. So they get, uh, they buy something they think is attractive and they don't really need it or if they look and do the economics on it, it doesn't make sense. And also, uh, they're not buying some features they may need. Mm -hmm. So they should be looking both at the little things and the big things because uh, you're buying insurance for really the catastrophic issues. Uh, and a lot of people don't look at that part of it. They only look at the little things. Yeah, and it's a big expense for most people. I know that. And you want to protect yourself. When I was shopping for my health insurance, I went online and received an online quote. Now, is this a good way to shop for health insurance? Well, most health insurance today, at least is initiated, the buy is initiated on the internet. But mm -hmm. it's not a good way to rely uh, on, the, on the quote. Mm -hmm. uh, and here's the reason. The quotes are based on optimal uh, situations like height and weight. Sometimes they don't consider uh, uh, smoking, mm -hmm. which carriers charge for. Oftentimes, and usually, they don't uh, consider uh, health conditions. So mm -hmm. people apply, and they get surprised because the policy comes back with either uh, exclusions that they don't know about or it's more expensive than they thought. Mm -hmm. And uh, that they should talk to an agent because agents understand how, you know, how the policies work. I know all my carriers, for example. Right. I know what they charge, how they look at the uh, conditions, and I'm available from 7 in the morning to 11 at night. So an agent like myself knows the rules, knows the carriers, and it advises you what would happen and who not to waste your time with and who's best for you. I see. So it's important to have an agent that you can talk to and call at any time that you might have yeah, a new question. Correct. And in my case, I'm 7 to 11 every day. Oh, wow. 7 a.m. to 11. That's pretty convenient. <laughs> yeah. Now, I know another big problem is that most people tend to procrastinate, including myself. So why is it important not to procrastinate when it comes to purchasing health insurance? Well, people think they can never get sick. And I've had several cases recently where people, uh, for example, one had a heart attack, mm -hmm. another had a very serious condition mm -hmm. that prevented them from getting insured. So they weren't insured when uh, the condition happened and they couldn't get insured afterwards because of what happened. Also, the prices can change because for new applicants with most carriers, the prices change based on birth date changes, and on a quarterly basis, they're increased in price for new applicants. So they can get that surprise also. Yeah, I'm sure that happens a lot with young people then. What well, about. Not only young people, it, it happens with everybody. With everybody. What yeah. about, um, it, you know, if when you're purchasing your health insurance, why is it important to take your time and request a detailed explanation of your policy? I mean, once you know your deductible and your copayment, isn't that enough information? No. You should understand, one, if there's going to be any exclusions or rate-ups. Secondly, you should understand uh, that certain things aren't going to be covered. Mm -hmm. um, and third, uh, you should be dealing with somebody who's available all the time. In my case, I'm available from 7 in the morning to 11 at night. And I guess something about me, I don't know how typical this is, I have to go to sleep at night. I want to make sure uh, that people buy what they need, that they're not going to get surprised, and they can contact me at any time. I'm very proud of that. I think customer service is very important. That's very important. Never reassuring. be afraid of asking questions. Yes, that's great to know that they can contact you at any time. That's yes, perfect. They can. 
working. And if you need health insurance, don't hesitate to call Paul Sholek at Florida Health Insurance Professionals for a comprehensive quote. After watching today's show, I'm sure that you'll agree that Paul Sholek, he knows what he's talking about.